moving on to the well-being section of um, our session today. And over the last four sessions, we have really had the privilege to bring you the news and the views from the wood and to benefit from being in the context of the wood. We've looked at colors, we've looked at our various senses, um, we looked at taste and um, smell and sight and just really became very mindful of what nature offers us and what we get, the well-being that we gain and thrive through connecting with nature. And I thought today might be quite interesting to turn it around and think about um, what we could maybe give to the wood. So we gain so much from the wood. What could we give back? And so I was quite interested, um, Martin, in your comments about wanting to do things and to contribute, because I really do believe that it's um, a symbiotic relationship of give and take, as opposed to what for many people I think is almost a a parasitic relationship of what can we get and we're pulling on nature all the time and so in turning it around and in focusing today I thought perhaps we could just consider what we could give back you know in, in lockdown we've gained so much by actually coming into the wood albeit in an e um, method or way and so some of the things that I've been thinking of in terms of giving back would be how can we leave spaces to do what they do best and regenerate and rewild without actually harming ourselves as people and I don't know about you but for me it has come back to food growing our own food, um, being as local as possible, and in a way, diminishing the demand that we have on rural areas, on monocultures, on life out there, bring it into our being, which again, from a well-being perspective, can so enhance our lives because we're actually touching the soil, we're watching things grow, we're getting a connection with with wildlife and with nature and with plants on a, on a very special one-to-one -one basis, which I found by evolving and developing a vegetable garden um, over this lockdown period. So I'm going to turn on this recording of bird song, just take us into the um, bird surround and sound that Charlie has so beautifully introduced us to. And I'd like you just to take yourself to soar above the trees, to soar above the land, to almost be the drone over your area and your home. And just imagine the world that you would like to contribute and live in going forward as we bring ourselves out of lockdown and the role that you can play in enhancing our wildlife, our woodlands and our own lives by connecting more with nature, be it in our own food gardens, be it in encouraging birds to our garden, um, be it in walking in nature and sharing our wonderful, wonderful experiences that we have. So it'll just be for five minutes. I'm going to bring this bird sounds back and ask you to go into your own soaring world, imagining the future and how you can participate in making that real.
and I'm slowly going to bring you back when you're ready to open your eyes and join us again. And now, with that feeling of soaring and coming back down to earth and to our reality, um, we're going to break out into breakout rooms and just have five minutes to share where we went, what we thought of, maybe um, some feedback in terms of um, what you learned or picked up through Nature News from Charlie. And um, I hope you enjoy interacting with one another.